Hey everybody, welcome to 2020. Uh, this is the uh, this is the first art stream of 2020. Uh, as the title of this stream suggests, Skeletor is back. Yawn. I've been working on this thing forever. I feel like uh, <laughs> I want to get this thing done. I've got another piece sort of in the queue that I've been working on, um, sort of as a a freebie gift to my patrons quick plug go to my patreon the link is down below um so i want to get on that because that's really fun and uh and i think everybody will like it <clears throat> it's uh sort of skeletor inspired and that's all i'm going to say about it anyways I need to get this thing finished because I want to move on and I'm liking where this is, but it ju just needs some touch ups here and there and maybe something in the background, which hopefully we should be able to get knocked out quick enough, quick enough. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, how's it going? I went back to some music tracks that I was using on uh, previous previous streams just because uh, I got the good old Twitch. Uh, parts of your video have been muted because we sensed that you were playing no-no music. So, gotta love the copyrighted stuff. I get it. I get it. But it's nice to have variety. So I got to figure out something else. I don't want to keep playing the same music like stream after stream. So yeah, I had a great holiday. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty chill. Uh, did a lot of relaxing. <laughs> did a lot of eating and drinking, and uh, so now I'm. My body is screaming for a diet, so I'm gonna start that soon, hopefully. Drop uh, maybe 30 pounds before the summer, that'd be nice. Um, yes, what did you uh, what did you do for your holiday? Anything fun? Anything fun for the holidays? Diet here too. <laughs> I keep on seeing that on uh, on Twitter, people posting about how they're gonna start doing diets. It's like all I want to do is make more money and go on a diet. That sounds like a good plan. I'm like, hey, like, thumbs up. Binge TV shows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of TV shows, finished Mandalorian. Uh, I gotta say, uh, about halfway through that first season, it kind of got slow for me, and I was not losing interest, but I just, I, I was a little like, eh, I don't know where this show is going, and then the last couple episodes, I thought, really picked up, and then, then left it on a cliffhanger, and now we have to wait until fall of 2020. Wait, we are in 2020. <laughs> fall of next year! keep on doing that i'm like oh next year it's like oh shit it is next year already um god what else uh making my way through watchmen also there's this show on netflix that i'm absolutely addicted to it's like a documentary series called the toys that made us and it's all about stuff that came out like like in the like the stuff that's popular in like the 80s and the 90s and uh, I mean, it's like Transformers, G.I. Joe, He-Man, and so I've just been making my way through those and watching all of them. Uh, I watched one the other day. It was about uh, My Little Pony, and that one was interesting. I mean, I wasn't into My Little Pony, but um, just kind of learning about how they came up with the idea for it and why it was so popular and everything, that was super interesting, but... Uh, 
Travelers. What is that? You went through two seasons. Wow. That's crazy. It must be good. What is it? Is it like a like sci-fi show? Why do I feel like I've heard of it before? Stargate. Oh, okay. Travelers. I'll have to look that up. This sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah, I'll have to check that out. I'm always on the lookout for a new show I can start watching and then never finish. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. Travelers, huh? Cool. So they can do missions to save their timeline. Uh huh? Cool, cool. Do you, um, does anybody do uh, New Year's resolutions? So you said something about doing a diet. <laughs> um, do you, do you have, do you have resolutions? Do people do that? Like for real? Resolutions? I always say like, man, New Year's resolutions, that's stupid. And then I turn around and I'm like, hey, I think I'm going to go on a diet. <laughs> Don't. Oops. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. I always have goals. Yeah, I, I'm i a very goal-oriented person. If I don't have a goal, I start going stir-crazy really quick. So like, what are your goals? Do you have goals like um, starting a Twitch stream? Personal growth. Ah. Personal growth. That's good. Yeah, I don't I don't do personal growth anymore. Um it never works. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It totally works. All right, we need to do something about this specular highlight on his bicep. This is a little ridiculous. I don't even know what the hell this is. Oh, it might help if I actually had the right brush. Meh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's take this off. Let's take this off. monetize it like monetize your twitch channel or like monetize your personal growth 
<laughs> Some of us dig the baby oil look. <laughs> uh, well, hey, you know, whatever... Whatever you think is great, I guess. Let's pull. Let's see, is that what I was using? Ugh. Oh, screw that. What was I doing here? There we go. Grab that. Oy, gross. I might just have to redo this arm. This looks disgusting. Yeah, let's let's take a sad song and make it better. see what the problem was. do all of it. Uh, maybe that's maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. Lighting for your stream. Uh just get some lamps. You know what I see some people doing is um doing those those ring lights and mounting it up above one of their monitors that might be a an option for you but yeah just a couple of lights like right now it's like i just i have a couple of lamps i have like a warm lamp and then a well a warm lamp and then an even warmer lamp um although right now i have the most boring lighting in the entire world so i don't know if you should be taking feedback from me <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do is make it as boring as possible like me i don't know my lighting was a little more interesting and then i turned on more lights because i felt like maybe it was just a little too moody in here so whatever i need to have my buddy who does lighting setups and you know shoots videos for corporations and stuff i need to have him come over here and make my office a little more interesting to look at Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I. Okay, here's what I need to do. I think. I think I missed what was supposed to be a gem on his hip. And I want to say. It was. 
as one of these. Something like this. Keep on finding these little things that I totally forgot about. A body for everything. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes it pays. It pays to have buddies who do everything. Man, I have done a horrible job of keeping track of what's done on this damn thing. bother making this thing too detailed seeing as how there's effects and everything right next to it. Like that. Oh yeah, even just a little bit of that gradient in there totally helped. Yeah, it's good having that little gem down there because it was uh, compositionally speaking, I was starting to feel a little dead down here. Okay, so all, all of his parts have been colored.
I think I might. I think I might go ahead and start working on maybe like a an indication of what could be in the background. So I group all this. That's Skelly. Whoa. This will be the background. Yeah, this is fine. We're just going to play around with some ideas so so two things one we've got this really cool sort of oval thing happening with the composition we've got all this energy kind of flying off this way but we've also got the sweep coming up from the position of his body and his cape. So it might be nice to sort of reinforce that with something. Maybe something like this and have, let's flip this bad boy. Every time I look at it for like a good couple hours and then I flip it, I like it more the direction that I just flipped it in. <laughs> uh. Don't. Something like that. And then let's see, let's let's pick a setting. So it's him sort of playing with his fire ability. Let's see, where would he be? Maybe he's inside of his base. Maybe he's, I don't know, maybe he's in Snake Mountain. So maybe he's in like a, like a cave or some type of season see like I want to do something that just sort of happens to support sort of the, the energy, the composition. So maybe, well, and I also don't want to make it too busy because I want him to be the focus of it. I guess I could do like some type of stalactites that are kind of bending or like the cave wall sort of has these rocks that are you know, kind of scary looking. <laughs> scary rocks, trademarked. Or what if I do, what if I just go for broke and do like a cool kind of graphic. Like a black. Hmm. 
maybe. Kind of helps anchor him having something like that behind him. This is nice, it's kind of subtle, but it kind of reinforces the arcs that are happening here, which I actually really like. Maybe we do like a foreground, like he's standing up against something or at least closer to something. And then... And then maybe there's something else. Hmm. God, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with this. I spent so much time thinking about everything else, I didn't even think about the background. Dolt. Like, I want to have something cool in the background, but I don't want it to interfere with him too much. Yeah, backgrounds are kind of important if uh, you want to make something that looks finished. Um, I mean, I guess you don't need to, just like depending on how stylized or whatever you want to make it. But I definitely, for this, I want to do... I want to do something. I just don't know what yet. It's like he's got all this magic and energy kind of coming off of his hand. Like, I don't want to start adding too much back there because it's just going to make it really busy. I don't know. I'll play around with it. See what we can come up with. So, like we said, he's... He's, like, in Snake Mountain or something, so... Let's turn this off. This might make our lives a little easier for now. So maybe he's... Got some caverns or whatever. And if we arrive at something we like, we can always go back in there and clean it up. But, uh... Yeah, for now, this is just, uh... Us playing with ideas. He's in a cave going, look at all my power. Or something. Just I'm really worried about taking attention away from What's going on with all the effects and stuff in that foreground? It's like, so imagine it's like we start putting that in there, then you get the magic. It's like, eh, now I'm looking at this thing, and so what happens if we start scaling this stuff up.
Ooh, actually, I've got an idea. What if this is... Ooh, what if they're like pillars? It's like these weird, like, organic-looking pillars in the background. Hey, what's going on, man? Happy New Year. Welcome to the future. <laughs> My son was like, the future? I was like, yeah. I was like, dude, you're in the future. The future? I was like, yeah, except Back to the Future lied, so you don't get any flying cars. How was your holiday? You get your uh, your move sorted out? Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that, man. That's awesome. Congrats. Nice.
Oh, I don't know how I didn't even think about this. Uh, did anybody go see Star Wars? Ha <laughs> uh, Angus, what about you? Mark, thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Good point. Yeah, I would agree with that assessment. <laughs> um, I think it's because the... And this is more critical, so it's not really spoilers, but I think the spectacle aspect is, is better than, say, like, Last Jedi. So you want to see some amazing visuals, some fantastic set pieces? Sure. Um, like uh, the lightsaber battle from all the trailers where uh, Rey and uh, Kylo are fighting on those ruins in the middle of that like ocean storm or whatever. Super cool. Yeah, you want a logical story, try the theater next door. Agreed. Yeah, um, some friends of mine, we were standing around, standing around outside, like on a break today, just tallying up like all the stuff that just didn't make any sense. And my whole thing was, is like, no, you don't have to be like a, a lore nerd to be, to, to notice it. It's like, all you have to do is just pay attention to what you're watching. And like every five minutes you're going, wait, huh? Wait, what? But didn't they just... No, never mind. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, yeah, you're not missing anything, in my opinion.
<laughs> Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Want Baby Yoda to get his own spinoff. But it's more of a sitcom. Just call it Baby Yoda. Don't overthink it. Baby Yoda There we go. I think that's starting to work. So we can get this area fleshed out and then uh, we'll use some atmosphere. We'll keep it really simple. We'll use some atmosphere to keep it from getting um, too distracting. But I think something like this will work. I like uh, it's a little more graphic, but it gets it just it's enough to give him um, some context, which is cool. But the the focus is still on him, as it should be. Teenage Baby Yoda in Mando gear. <laughs> A wrist-mounted lightsaber. Okay. Okay. You know what's going to happen, though. I mean, let's just be honest about the world we live in. Is I'm going to do a Twitch stream where I do a Yoda, and then mysteriously my channel will go away. And when you go, when you well, no, when you go to my channel instead of my usual st stuff that I have up, it'll just be like a screen with like the Mickey Mouse head on it. Um. So yeah, man, Disney is all over that shit. So I've been, I've been finding like all of these, um, like 
you know, little merch stores online where people are making their own stuff. And it's like, oh, I designed a Disney shirt and I, or a, a Baby Yoda shirt and did a Baby Yoda hat. And that stuff is gone after like 48 hours. <laughs> It's like, oh, Disney found out. No fun for you. It's not their fault. If Disney would just get off their ass and put out some decent merch, people wouldn't be making their own stuff. Yeah. I'll never be heard from again. Not only did they commandeer his Twitch channel, but they also abducted him in a black paneled van. <laughs> it is the way. <laughs> so, I was talking about this earlier. After I finish this piece, um, I'm going to work on finishing a another Skeletor themed image um, that I'm doing for um, like a, a freebie, like a like a freebie gift for my uh, my patrons. Um, it is yeah, it's it's Skeletor themed, but it's kind of like a it's like a gender bent like chick version of Skeletor, and of course it's I wouldn't exactly call it spicy but it's it's kind of pin y so after i finish this dude i'm gonna work on that and um but sure i yeah i'd be totally up for doing a yoda i mean every other artist i know online is doing their own version of baby yoda and i'm maybe surprised and a little disappointed in myself that i haven't done one yet so i'll have to i'll have to get on that Okay, so we'll do something like this. Give this a save because Photoshop has been crashing on me. Not here, but at work. So now I'm just, I'm very sensitive of Photoshop's feelings. That's true. Oh, I've seen some gallery abomine versions of Baby Yoda online. Oh my god. I mean, I hey, you know what? All power to to whoever wants to, you know, do their own version of Baby Yoda and everything. Like, I totally get it, but wow, I've seen some I've seen some good stuff and I've seen some horrid stuff. I'm like, "How did you manage to take Baby Yoda and make him look like an ugly alien gray that like my 3-year-old drew?" People are like, that's brilliant. <laughs> like, whew. Well, the Baby Yoda in the show doesn't give me nightmares, but this fan art kind of does. Oh, yeah, too many wrinkles. <laughs> Let's see. How do we want to do this? I don't want to make it too detailed. But I want it to hold up. Just maybe do some indications of some happy little rocks back here. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing that I was watching a lot of. Uh, so they were doing like holiday marathons of Bob Ross on the Bob Ross Twitch channel. And uh, I may have tuned in for some of those. Whatever, I'm not ashamed. I love me some Bob Ross. If I'm having a bad day, I just like to turn on Bob Ross. He's like the Mr. Rogers of the art world. 
or something. <laughs> Except what he should have done is is he at the beginning of the show when he he should come in and like take off the afro he's wearing and like put on a different one. <laughs> It's such a good feeling to paint happy trees. You're growing as an artist. Yeah, I was uh, I was in the chat. Uh, this was like maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago. I was in the chat for uh, the Bob Ross channel. And I had made some joke like, uh, it's too bad Bob Ross didn't, you know, ever make it into film concept art because, you know, I would love to see him doing one of these landscape paintings and then like randomly he, you know, adds in, you know, like, oh, oh heck, we're just going to add a little xenomorph over here next to the tree or whatever. <laughs> I mean, clearly I'm, I'm not being serious. And some dude, <laughs> he replies back and he's like, he he never would have sold out and done concept art. It's too restrictive. That's that's not his style. <laughs> I was like, I'm not serious. Calm down. Jesus, it's the holidays. And get a sense of humor. Maybe Santa will leave you one. Prick. Raining on my parade. Oh, what am I doing? any of that. Fuck that noise. Okay, let's take all this crap off. See, this is our sketch for the background. Let's take him off. Turn this off.
nuke placement. Ah, oh, yeah. Getting that map painting action on. That's awesome. How'd it turn out? Spoilers. Oh God, that's not right. Oh, I'm just gonna have to do this by hand, I think. All right, I'll fix that later. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> nice. How does it feel to uh, to be learning a new tool set? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love I love having the opportunity to learn new software and new tools when I don't feel like I'm sort of uh, up against a deadline or something. Because then, you, like, you always worry about being able to deliver at the quality that's expected. But I guess that's just how it goes. Sometimes you're fortunate you get those opportunities, but not always, but it just kind of is what it is.
that's not going to work. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely expensive. That's for sure. But it's super powerful. And it's one of those that lots of people in the industry use, which is why it's so expensive.
All right, let's figure out what the hell is going on with this. Now, maybe we leave that. We just pull this stuff out. I'm thinking it might be interesting to just let him recede into that shadow. So we'll try it and see what happens. Could be cool. We'll see. Okay, so... Got that going. Okay, let's see what happens if we... I'm wondering if I should even bother with trying to detail in some of this stuff. We can just try an area and see what happens. Like, is that buying me anything if I do that? Maybe not. Especially if I'm just going to go in there and lighten these inks anyway. Like if I'm just going to pull these down. I mean, maybe? Ugh, I don't know.
try something. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, what if, what if he's got, like, these bone construct-looking tower things or whatever that are, like, growing out of this, like, cave wall stuff. Like, you could have, like... Like the spines or whatever are kind of coming out.
God, we still need to go in there and sharpen up his effects. They're still an airbrushy mess. It's a mess! Fair point. I think the reed is looking pretty nice. I don't know. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna open this one up to the floor. Like, uh, do we keep the background maybe a little more simple? Maybe I can uh, play a little bit with some light grad up here just to give it a sense of something. Maybe I can, um, maybe I can throw like a really faint indication of some type of an environment or just lighting hitting something back here. I don't know, or do we do we keep it just a little more kind of comic book cover simple? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of of like fifteen different minds on this right now. Like I didn't really plan for this to have too much of a background, so I might be kind of working something into it that first of all is simple. Okay. Cool, cool. We can do that. Can do that. Cool. Well, thank you. Um, well, uh, I might, I might just go ahead and just hint a little bit more that there's some type of a, a light source at this, uh, upper left-hand corner, maybe just kind of up this grad a little bit so that it makes sense that he's getting hit by this key light in addition to the, the fire stuff. Um, and maybe that's enough. And then we'll just go in there and kind of sharpen up some of these effects and then call it quits. I mean, I think it... It has a, I mean, I'm fairly happy with the read. I like him. I like the blacks of his outfit, his shadows back here kind of receding into whatever that, that dark compositional object is back here. Reminds me of something that you'd see in like on spawn covers and stuff and for whatever reason that seems oddly appropriate oh maybe like nah don't do that don't do that Would it be, here's a question for the channel. Would it, would anybody be interested in seeing, um, cause like right now I tend to do more kind of fan art stuff on here. At least that's what I've been doing. And what I originally was hoping for was to kind of mix it up, like do some fan art stuff. Um, and then you know, maybe do like a couple of those and then do some original IP, right? So like, I'd be interested to get your thoughts 
people watching the channel. Um, like, do you want to see more stuff like this? Or would you be open to seeing, like, comic book layouts? Me working through that type of stuff? Um, any and all of the above? Are there preferences? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm open to getting feedback. Okay. Right on. Then maybe I'll I'll go ahead and I'll start doing that. Kind of mix it up a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, I, I get your point for sure. Um I mean, yeah, I mean like this isn't my design. <laughs> I just like the design. That's why I used it. But um cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there certain, like when we're doing stuff like this, that's just, hey, do a cool illustration of a character that exists or whatever. I mean, is there any particular subject matter outside of like the funny stuff? Like, hey, what if we did like a Yoda or something, which I'm, I'm all about doing like the funny illustrations. Um, My own take on a character is awesome too. Cool. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like with regard to stuff like this, is there anything that, if it was like, hey, it's it's gonna be like fan art week or fan art month or you know whatever it is, it's like, is there anything in particular or is it just kind of like anything that's cool? Anything goes. All right. Keep it simple. I like it. Well, having said that, if there's any, if there's, excuse me, if there's anything that comes up and you're like, oh, Eureka, I've got a cool idea, drop it in the channel. Um, I've already had a couple of other people do that, so I've, I've kind of got like a little checklist of some possibilities, so whatever I feel like doing, it's like I'll just pick them off the list. So yeah, as you guys come up with anything, just uh, let me know. The fan art not much explored. Uh, do you have anything in particular you're talking about? Quildor. <laughs> Is that a serious request? I'd be I'd be totally down to do it. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? What if we made, like, a badass-looking Gwildor? The Panthro! Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and start a a list. Well, I've got a notes running somewhere. Where is it? Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> if you made a badass Gwildor, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Is that kind of like if if you made a badass Jar Jar Binks, then um, it's not you didn't you didn't do a proper Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Skeletor's not as explored. Um, yeah, over on Reddit, I've got a couple of requests to do more character, more Masters of the Universe characters like this, and I have to say there's a part of me that's like, ooh, that'd be really fun. Are you talking about, um, okay, so yes, I've seen those. I've seen people, different people do their own takes. There's one guy in particular, uh, he's a industry concept artist, and he did some way back in the day. They were originally posted on conceptart.org, 
And they were these really, really, he does these exquisite pencil drawings. Um, And I remember he did a series of them of, I think it was like he did a He-Man, a Skeletor, he did a, he did an Evil Lynn. And I remember that one in particular because he's, I mean, he's a concept artist and he's got a bit of a dark side to him. So, but he did this Evil Lynn and she had, what was it? Staple, not staples. She had like sutures like going up her torso. She was stitched together. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I wonder if I can find those. Um, do you remember his his explanation for why she was stitched together up to center? <laughs> oh. Anyways, right. It wasn't it's not overtly pervy, but it, it, it was a lot of really like, whoa, okay. That's that's kind of screwed up. Um but I mean I I like that stuff in Experience Miles. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, because I don't think I've seen those in a while. I just remember being really inspired by some of that. Um, I think he also went on and did some Mortal Kombat characters too. Uh, and the poses were just absolutely amazing because, I mean, he's he's a character guy, right? So poses is what he does. Um <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was I was waiting for that. Um, but the designs were just really, really good, and that's actually what I was talking about the other day um, when I was when we were talking about um, like doing Masters of the Universe, but doing something that's a little more kind of savage Masters of the Universe, something that's a little more like, hey, it's sword and sorcery and technology and barbarians and magic and skeletal zombies that have power, like you know. To, like how dark could that actually go? And that's exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. Why was she stitched up? Because my mind is going wild. <laughs> I, you know, I here. If you thought about it long enough, you could probably figure it out. And I don't advocate this, but it is what it is. Let's just say, um, I don't, I don't have, yeah, never mind. I don't have a good way of putting this. That's like Twitch safe. I don't have a classy way of putting this. <laughs> Someone went a little overboard. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. That's that's it. Uh intriguing idea. Um like I said, I don't advocate these kinds of things. Um <laughs> That's kind of a weird thing to say, like, I don't advocate ripping someone's soul out and then stitching them back together and Anyway, the design was cool. Anyway, I would be totally down to read a comic book that was maybe a little more kind of like a like adult adult to the level that like, you know, Conan the Barbarian got adult. Like maybe just pushing it a little bit more that way. Uh I mean, that was some of the uh, they were inspired by that subject matter. So, like what if you actually pushed it in that direction and just basically did a uh like you know how marvel did this a few years back they did uh it was like marvel it's like marvel black or something like that and it was god was it marvel who did that yeah i i feel like it was marvel who did it and it was it was kind of more like m-rated stories like I, I wonder if you did like a version of Masters of the Universe that was like that. Like if you if you cut down on a bunch of the cheesy shit, and then you just kind of push the the kind of barbarian fantasy, you know, brutal quality of it. Like that could be cool. Call it Savage Masters of the Universe or something like that. Um, 
<laughs> Actually, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I wonder if you could pitch that to DC. I should I should reach out to Jim uh, and see if they'd be open to something like that. Oh my God, I would I would <laughs> I would so kill to work on a project like that. That would be that'd be sick. That would be sick. I would love it. I would love it. Art for it to pitch. Yeah. Oh my God, if there was a chance of actually, if, if there was a chance of DC being open to something like that, if it was like, hey, I've got an idea for a, you know, adult sort of M-rated sword and sorcery barbarian take on Masters of the Universe. Yeah, that would be that'd be awesome. I might just send a message over to Jim and see if they'd be open to something like that. Because that would be, oh my god, that'd be so much fun to work on. I mean, it, it, it would basically be like... For me, like if I was to do the if I was to do art that was like that or for it or something like that, it would probably be this style, right? But you know, like the colors might be a little more muted, like you know, no, you know, primary purples on Skeletor. It'd be like you know, dark, desaturated. You know, I don't know. That could be really fun. Like that really pale, almost dead looking blue skin or something. Man, that'd be awesome. Anyways. Get out of dreamland. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Alright, so he's got a bit of a... A little bit more of a neutral red. Where's my pen at? Where's my tools? Ugh. Let's not do that. See what do I got in here for like smoke or fog? Yeah, there we go.
something so it doesn't feel just so straight up airbrushy. something in there maybe Okay, let's see what we can do about these crap effects that we got going on in here. <laughs> Force lightning. Nice. some inked looking lines in there to make it feel like there's some substance in this They might be a little small. like little lightning crackles or something. Yeah, like coming off the fingertips.
ease off some of this. Yeah, it's working a little better, I think. <laughs> What's happening to my hand? It's burning. Ow. <laughs> Guys, what is this? Like it's fine having the glow in there, but it's like you, you just need a little bit of something else to like anchor it because otherwise it just, yeah, it feels like a kind of airbrushed mess. So at least this starts to feel like there's, uh, like I was saying, like there's some substance to it. It's like, oh, the glow is coming from the little charges or whatever these are that are sort of coursing through it. Hey, thanks for the cheer. Much appreciated.
The live chicken twitch? No. What is that? Is it just video of like a chicken or something? Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not familiar with that. You know, it really occurs to me right now, I should not be doing this by hand. I should just grab a texture, but whatever, I've come too far. Oops. Sweet. Okay, I think that I think this will work. So we can go ahead and finish off the effects and actually that works because we've got about an hour left and yeah, I think if we if I can get the Hey, thanks for the follow, Arjunite. Um Yeah, I think we can get these effects sorted out. We should be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I th yeah, we got enough time to do that. Cool. Okay, actually, I am going to break for three, three, four, five minutes, uh, and I will be back. It could be sooner. Uh, I'm going to go grab something to drink, uh, and I will be, yeah, I'll be right back, and then we'll continue working on these effects. All right, hang tight, and uh, yeah, feel free to continue the chat, and uh, yeah, I'll see everybody in just a second.
Okay. Let's see. Where were we on this thing? Get some electricity going. Right on. That might be a bit much. Let's take that off. So this area will be interesting because this is where I sort of imagine it like touching down and actually making contact with the surface of his armor. Damn it. I will say what's what's cool about this is is like it's it's a bit of a time consuming process but but once you have all this drawn out you can easily just sort of use this on other pieces as well you can just kind of go in and select little bits of it so I don't think I have any effects like this well anything that's what I needed anyway uh, something that would have been appropriate for this, but now that I've done it, I can just uh, sort of copy paste whenever I need to have it again. So, Pretty good. Okay, give 
that a save so I don't lose it. Um, I mean, I haven't, I haven't changed anything. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's the same colors that you were looking at on your, um, like five, ten minutes ago. I mean, I have a color lookup at the top that really pushes the vibrance, but I mean, I've had that on for like the last five minutes. <clears throat> Oh, dude, like, uh, my TV, certain stuff just looks crazy. And then I have to go in there and make sure that the, the mode, the viewing mode isn't set to something like, God, there's one that's, it does crazy things. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, it's like ultra vivid or something. Oh, <laughs> well, that's good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm familiar with that problem. Some things look good depending on the the viewing mode on my TVs and then other things are like, "Whoa, did they mean for it to be that colorful?" and as it turns out, it's like, "No, it's just your your wonderful television." But as long as it still looks good. <laughs>
Yeah, I think the key to really making this look cool when you do these types of electrical looking effects is like making sure that the the line weight isn't too even. So it's like, you know, every once in a while, like when it's when the little arc direction is sort of changing, is like doing these kind of thicker, kind of sharper edges on them, just kind of helping get that little little bit of thick thin that it needs to feel like it's it's got mass. You know, letting them overlap each other. Some little like spark looking effects just kind of trailing off from it. Small stuff. I mean it they don't really contribute to the, the major read of the image, but it still just gives it a little bit of something. Cool. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good.
Okay, now it's time to spot check it. Is there anything that I'm missing in here? I'm really bad about that. All right, give this a save, sit back, take a look at it. I think it's pretty much there. Let's see, we got his effects in there, his lighting is looking okay. We got the little jewel on his hip. Actually, we might be able to play with, uh, I don't know, maybe some, like a cool, like, subtle textural treatment to the background, maybe. But something that's not going to overpower all the work we've done. again so that we know what we're looking at okay and we'll go ahead and dupe that off so that we don't screw ourselves I don't know. Is it just me or is that more distracting than anything else? I mean, it does give it a little something back there just to give it some weight, but mm, 
I'll drop that down. It's like 10. And then it just reads as banding. Eh. Maybe not. Maybe we don't need it. I don't know. What if we... the curves a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. I think that works. Give it a flip. All right, I'm sorry, but that That highlight on his bicep is just distracting as hell. Let's at least make it more subtle or something. Yeah, that's that's already way better. <laughs> it was like he had like oil on his on his spice. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, something. So it reads as you know being a nice round bicep, but Jesus, it's not a lubed up bicep. I think if I'm gonna do anything else, it might be grabbing this jewel down here and desetting that thing a little bit, bring it down. Yeah, it's fine. It's popping a little much. I think that's about it. Unless uh, anybody points out something that I'm missing. Throw our tag on there. Okay, we'll lock that. Lock it. Actually. Throw this in post. Lock that. Let's see, we might. Don't 
That might be a bit distracting. Eh, maybe not. Guess I can leave it for now. Save that shit. Yeah, I think unless anybody notices something I am not, I think that's about good to go. This has been a really fun piece to work on. Um, yeah, really fun piece. Skeletor is always fun. Anything kind of, I don't know, dark and creepy. I always have a lot of fun with. Color contrast is nice. Feels nice and vivid, like it would pop off the comic stand. I can dig it. Yep. Any feedback, speak now or let me know and I'll fix it later. <laughs> this one out I should create a word balloon for him. It hurts. <laughs> Dope. It says 2019 on it. No, that's all right. We'll just leave it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to fix that. Nah, let's go fix that. Oh, so I was reading a, a little thing online and they were saying, um, you know how like typically for dates, it says, uh, you know, it's like, one for January and then two for the day. And then the year it'd be like, you know, 19 for 2019 or, you know, whatever they're saying, don't just put 20. Cause if you put 20 people can always come in behind you and add the numbers to it. So like, if you like, okay, so if I dated this, you know, like January 2nd and then 20, somebody could come in later on and write like, you know, 16 on the end, which I never would have thought of before. Um, yay for year 2020 problems. So, uh, yeah. God, where did I read that? And it was funny because it was literally one of those like, oh, by the way, don't get screwed. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Right? Yeah, I never would have thought of that. Oh, come on, you fucker. 
All right, let's. Twenty twenty. So weird. Well, hopefully this is a good way to start twenty twenty. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think that's gonna do it. Well, yeah, thanks for hanging with me uh, and uh, putting up with like multiple, multiple, multiple streams of me dicking around on this thing. <laughs> it's been really fun and uh, hopefully y'all have enjoyed watching it. So, okay. Uh, two things. One, uh, next piece will be um, sort of the the female Skeletor kind of pin up -y chick that I started working on. So we'll start working on that. Um, well, I've already kind of started it, but we'll start working on it on the stream. And then, um, so this piece and the next one that I'm going to be working on um, for my, Patre my patrons on my Patreon, uh, I'm going to be giving the high res and the PSDs of this as sort of like a like a freebie. Uh, yeah, this one and the next one. Because uh, I got to tell you, like, when it comes to my Patreon, my original intent was to post uh, updates way more often and do way more content. And it's just, it, everything has just been a slog. Uh, everything's been going so slow. So I'm woefully behind on that. Um, but just as a thank you to the people who have stuck around, I'm going to go ahead and start, you know, throwing up some, some freebie pieces. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in getting the high res version of this, uh, not just a web version that I post online, um, as well as the PSD. And if I have some time, I might do some of the little step by step, step by step sheets. Um, yeah, definitely go over and um, become a member of the of the page. And um, I think this one should be up maybe this weekend. And then, you know, whenever the next piece gets done, I'll get that one posted up on Patreon as well. Um, but yeah, I think that about wraps it up for this. And we'll start the next one on the next stream. So yeah, thanks again for hanging out. Uh, it's been really fun. I think it was a, a good first stream for 2020. Uh, knock out a you know halfway decent cool piece. Uh, start off strong, and hopefully uh, this year we'll continue to create you know more cool stuff. And uh, like I said before, I'm open to feedback about what you guys would like to see. Um, so I do have my running list of the suggestions that y'all give me. Um, so yeah, at some point we'll start kind of picking and choosing from that. And then, uh, any original IP stuff, you know, more concept art oriented, not just, um, not just illustration. Uh, we'll start doing some of that too. Um, so yeah, uh, I think, and eh, we're about 15 minutes left. So I think we're at a good spot. Um, yeah, had fun. 
thank you for being here. And the next stream is going to be, uh, we're, we're back on schedule now that the holidays are done. So next Tuesday, uh, I'll be back and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start tackling the next thing. So yeah. Um, I hope everybody had a, a great holiday. It sounds like, uh, everybody did at least something relatively fun and, uh, I hope everybody's January, uh, is great. Have a good start to the, the new year. So, uh, with that, uh, I'm going to leave you and, uh, thanks for being here and I'll see you guys next week.